guys welcome back to my channel i hope your week is off to a great start and that you'll have a fabulous week ahead you're a queen you've got this anyway today's video is going to be super 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 simple i'm going to be making a two-piece typhron set and i chose to make it from this beautiful pink t-shirt it's a men's t-shirt i got it for five dollars it's in a size xxl and i decided i'd make this gem for summer and look at her she is cute she is beautiful and the best part is this is very 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 simple to make so as you can see you're showing the skin girl everything looks nice and beautiful i really love the color of this i think it's super fabulous and i think this would be a staple piece to wear during summer and obviously you can wear the top with something else the skirt is something else so we love a versatile kind of piece so in case you want to make your very own set let's get right into it so agenda numero uno is to put a pin exactly where you want your skirt piece to start. As you can see, I use a very visible red pin, very hard to miss. And what you're going to do now is you're going to draw a straight line across the point of the pin, get rid of her. In 2020, if something is not building us, we are getting rid of it. So the red pin had to go. So after you've drawn your straight line, you're just going to cut across the line. That way you get two equal pieces, your top and basically your skirt piece and your all almost done. I told you this was really simple. So get rid of the top bit. Do not throw it away. You are going to need it for later. So what I'm doing with the bottom piece is I'm turning it inside out. I'm doing this so that you can easily make a casing for the elastic at the very top. So all I'm doing is I'm folding in my fabric once, pinning it in place. That way we have a casing for our beautiful elastic. So I am making sure to leave sufficient space for my elastic. She is leaving her family to come be with us. So we have to make sure she's as comfortable as can be and I'm making sure that the size of the elastic I'm going to use is going to fit comfortably into this casing so make sure you leave adequate space for your size of elastic and everything will turn out great so I just pinned all around the perimeter at the top and once that was done I slanted two pins that way I'd remember to leave a gap when I was sewing and when it comes to sewing you're just going to sew all around the pinned area turn it around and make sure you leave Leave your gap if you forget to leave your gap you might actually cry so don't do that and when I moved on to the sewing machine I chose to do a zigzag stitch so I was working with stretchy material and the zigzag stitch allows for stretch. She's accommodating. She allows people to come even when they're not invited to the party. So I decided a stretch stitch, a zigzag stitch rather, would be the best option since I was working with stretchy material. And as you can see, that's what she looks like. The casing is beautifully attached and sealed. And now you're going to move on to measuring an elastic around your waist. Make sure it's comfortable. Make sure you can breathe and you can have a food baby accommodated into that. That elastic size and once you have a comfortable size you're going to pin one end of the elastic to your gown wow to your skirt and the other end you're just going to attach another safety pin and pass it through your casing so as you can see I'm just guiding the elastic with my safety pin through the casing and this took no time at all literally two minutes you're done with this and that's how easy it is to make this skirt once my elastic came out the other end, I got rid of one safety pin and I put the other safety pin to join both ends together. That way I could easily shush everything out, make sure no one was fighting, everyone was happy. I wanted this to be a peaceful marriage, so you have to make sure it starts off right. And once everyone is comfortable, you're going to sew the two ends together and then you're going to push your elastic back into the casing and sew a zigzag stitch across to seal your gap. So now moving on to the very simple top all I did is I drew a rectangle as wide and as long as I possibly could I think mine was about eight and a half inches wide and I made sure to make this as straight as possible so as you can see I went in at some point and once you're satisfied with the size and the length of your rectangle you're just going to cut it out and as you can see I'm making sure to mark the insides because I get so confused between the two sides and it's annoying so I just make sure to mark it and just avoid problems later on I'm trying to make sure this marriage is prosperous someone better acknowledge my efforts so as you can see all I'm doing is I'm cutting out my rectangular pieces and once that was done you have two long pieces that are essentially going to make up your top so now you're just going to join them together right sides kissing and I'm just pinning the fabrics in place and I'm going to sew a zigzag stitch to join the two pieces together so as we said zigzag stitch is just ideal for stretchy fabrics she is the best ever she understands problems and 
we love to use her. So once my zigzag stitch was sewn, that's what she looked like and you're basically done with your top. So now we have to make the sleeves and this is optional. In case you don't want sleeves, you don't have to do this. But what I did is I folded in the sleeves just to make sure I get a straight line and as you can see, my sleeve is a bit curved. So bodies are curved and you will find that stuff is not exactly straight and that's okay. So once I cut out my two pieces, I made sure to turn them inside out and we're essentially going to repeat the same exact thing we did with our skirt here. We're going to make a casing for the elastic along the top edge. So all I'm doing is I'm folding in my fabric once, pinning it in place to make sure my elastic will have a home to come to. So just do this, take your time, make sure the size of elastic you're using will fit into the casing you're making. And once everything is nice and pinned, make sure you slant two pins that way you remember to leave a gap because trust me, not leaving a gap might actually make you pull your hair out if you're using a zigzag stitch especially. So just make sure you do not forget that. And you're going to repeat this with the other sleeve as well, unless you want one sleeve. And in that case, you go girl, you do you. So when I moved to the sewing machine, I just did the same exact thing, the zigzag stitch all across the bottom to make sure the casing is properly sealed. Nothing special, but the zigzag stitch understands us. We're getting married to her, so we just love her. And once everything was nice and sewn, as you can see, our casing is screwed created and everything looks nice and neat. So you're going to do the same thing and insert the elastic that you need. Make sure you measure it around your arm to make sure it fits. That way there's no problems later on. So doing the same exact thing, using safety pins to guide my elastic. I'm just going to push this through until the elastic emerges on the other side and we have a complete loop. So once she comes out the other side, I'm going to take out the other safety pin and attach both ends to one safety pin and shush everything out. Just make sure everything is nice and comfortable. No one's doing something they're not comfortable doing. And after that, I'm just going to sew the two ends together and seal the gap by sewing a straight a zigzag stitch, Lord, a zigzag stitch across that point. And once that's done, you'll repeat this with the other sleeve as well. And you have two beautiful sleeves. And now you're going to attach them to your top and you're essentially done. So I just closed my top to make sure I knew what I was doing. I did try on the top and I figured I'd attach the sleeves at the point you're seeing chalk marks. So I just attached the sleeves with a pin to make sure the position was right. And after everyone was in her place, no one was disrespecting the elders, I made sure to sew to attach the sleeves to the bodies. So I used a zigzag stitch for everything. Zigzag stitch is bay in today's video. And this is a final result. I told you this was super simple to make. It's so quick. It's so beautiful. I love it. And I think two piece sets are awesome. They're so easy to just wear together or with other stuff. So I am in love with this set and I hope you are too. If you are, make sure you try to make it and tag me in your pictures. I love seeing your recreation creations on Instagram, so make sure you tag me. Other than that, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I thoroughly enjoyed your company. Having said that, I really hope I catch you in my next video, but until then, rock your two-piece set like it's already summer, because who cares? <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye.